so and anybody who's like like what the fuck are you talking about because Sorry, there might guys. be people in this channel who like aren't in our discord or whatever i had a uh, the oh no nora had uh challenged me to a debate which i don't know it was just gonna be a conversation i was expecting like not really something um productive uh, and we we emailed and uh we'd agreed today at seven o'clock and uh 7 p.m uh no time zone issues she's in the same time zone as i am yep um and um she didn't show uh, i usually give people 15 minutes uh we gave her half an hour uh to be late um no problem people being late uh podcasters and streamers are a disorganized sort and if she hit me up and she's like some things came up you know could we push it back a little bit or whatever um that'd be fine but i didn't get any of that uh, i actually haven't received a, a email from her since uh thursday friday so when we set it up on friday and it, i looked i checked it said this tuesday unless she assumed that meant we were going back in time to the tuesday that actually happened last week which i think right. you can do as a word clearer in the cult of scientology right yeah if you if you i mean maybe if you die you can go back in time and then you have to start your billionaire contract over again. But don't you have to go back 23 years or something? Because don't you get time off? Don't quiz me about these things. I'm not an OT. I don't have that much money. No, no, Nora never left. Yeah, she had a she had she had important Scientology business to go about. She was doing <laughs> some OSIS spying or whatever. That's what we should say, right? Because that's what everybody she's, else accuses fucking everybody else of doing. It's fucking being she's spying for OSA. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have things to say about this, but you said you have things to say first, so I will wait until after you're Well, done. yeah, and it's not like you're not here to fucking participate in them. I just had, I even oh, like I had know. a fucking, I even had notes. I was like, here's, here's, here's a page of things I'm going to try to say in between her intermittent freaking out on me. Like, like <laughs> Nathan Blaze is not here and this is still a shit show. He'll be here later, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So um, the first thing I was going to say, because I knew she was going to ask me to answer for the behavior of just about fucking everybody, I was just going to say, hey, you know, I'm just here speaking for myself and my podcast network. I'll defend anything that I've said or anything that any of my co-hosts has said. But if you want to find out what other people have to say, just ask them. <laughs> so that's pr pr pretty OK, right? Yeah, pretty easy. Easy and easy one. So the next one is I was going to try to get this across or some version of it. And this is, by the way, we're going to call this like an open video letter to No Show Nora. No! Um, <laughs> In my view, Scientology was already past the event horizon of dying when SPTV, as we know, it was formed. Um, Operation Chinology brought awareness to how abusive and let's face it, just plain fucking weird the organization is. The Masterson trials were mainstream news about an abuser who the organization tr clearly covered up for. There still be people being taken advantage of by the cult, but their membership has always suffered from a lack of diversity and it's getting smaller and many of the members are getting up there in age. Uh, Lady B in my chat jokingly says that they have one building for each of their remaining members. <laughs> good joke um so i do not see most of the people in the sptv community doing content about scientology anymore it's mostly about other creators the discord and reddit these days yeah hmm. uh the protests in the u.s from my view are primary primarily about live streamers getting views i see very few signs i hear no chance i see a cloud chase yep um here we go. This one, this one, this one, if I could have gotten this out, I think by the time I got to these four, I don't think that it would have, things would have, things would have probably devolved pretty severely by this point, you're, I'm guessing. You're optimistic. I don't think she would have gotten through the first two. So one uh, and a half. The SPTV community has been pretty willing to overlook Aaron Smith Levin's behavior from the cigar bar incident to his appearance on the Rick Wiles power hour to his m more recent coziness with Andrew Gold, who not only hosts a channel, Heretics, that does exclusively bigoted content, but also did a disgusting video speculating about the death of Doug Kramer. Mm -hmm. The only record of this video is my horrified reaction to it, can be found, which can be found on the Echoplex Media YouTube channel. I wrote an article in March of 2023 that called for Aaron's ouster from the aftermath foundation and the entire community including a few people who eventually came around to my ver to some version of my point of view circled the wagons around aaron as is always the case in this community conspiracy theories were spun and i was accused of somehow being affiliated with osa so i find it funny that she stands for fucking aaron because 
especially because of the Rick Wiles thing where he went on his show and Rick Wiles is somebody who thinks that, Oh no, Nora, sorry, no show Nora is, um, is somebody who's committing egregious sins and probably should be cast into a lake of sulfur to suffer for all of eternity. And Aaron co-sponsors that. It's weird. That's a weird position to be in as far as I'm concerned. To be fair, he, he pretended he didn't know who Rick Wiles is, but that's pretty interesting because, um, it's, it's Rick Wiles. We're not talking yeah. about some incredibly fringe figure, like somebody that we dug up out of, uh, out of telegram or something. Yeah. Uh, um, so this one, you'll like this one. I've watched activist communities online fall into disarray. Two examples of the atheist skeptic movement of the mid to late 2000s falling apart after Elevator Gate, with many YouTube creators joining the Gamergate pile on, and also the Chemtrails movement falling about falling apart in the late 2010s. <laughs> so this one, this one, you're you. This is one of the points that you make. There's a difference between being someone's friend and being their colleague. And yeah. an even bigger difference between being someone's friend and being someone's fan or a regular viewer of their content. It seems to me that these lines have been purposefully blurred in your community. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And it's, it's kind of understandable considering that everybody in that community is like in a weird situation, right? The, they've gone from like leaving a call and then accidentally finding another one. And then, but the, the, the other one, the, the ex Scientology, cults of personality that seems to have splintered off into a bunch of factions. Oh, geez, like the chemtrail community, whatever, all that shit went completely awry. Um, it, they just don't, they don't recognize it in themselves and they don't recognize it in each other, that they are perpetuating the same bullshit just around individuals instead of around a space alien. So, and the last thing I was going to do before I got out was I was going to be like, I encourage people to visit echoplexmedia.com and click on the Declamation Times. Check out the article that was published as this live stream started. Only a select few internet weirdos have had their own soundboard on our website. Now one of them is Nora. <laughs> <laughs> I lovingly pulled every single one of those clips for you because I knew that it would make you so happy. Oh, they're great. They're great. I'm not they're sure which good my, ones. I'm not sure which one's my favorite. I, I think I like I think I like um uh sir, madam, person, camera, woman, whatever. None of that That's showed so up good. actually today. No, none of those. <laughs> Inco Genito. Inco. <laughs> Inco Genito. It's yeah. It's a thing. So um, you know, if something happened or whatever, that's fine. It is, it's really though, like it's, even if you don't like somebody, it's a professional, it's a professional courtesy to just shoot them an email. You know, something happened, you know, something happened with my family. I'm, you know, I'm tired after my stream. Can we do this another time? All of that. And I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been, fuck, I wouldn't have been that up. You know, the shit happens. I've canceled. I've had to cancel interviews before. I've had to mm -hmm. cancel shows before. I've canceled shows because I just didn't feel like fucking broadcasting. 